On the campus of Coker College in Hartsville, you'll find a hard-working group of student leaders who are working to create and implement community empowerment programs. This group is known as Enactus. With me today is one of their student leaders, Zane Van Hook. Zane, thanks so much for inviting us out today to learn more about Enactus. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about what the group does. Well, Enactus in general is seeking an opportunity within our community. Um, we have several different projects that um, give back to our community and our community gives to us so we like giving back to our community as much as possible throughout our projects. And one of your projects just happens to be the aquaponic system. We're standing in front of the greenhouse where it's housed. Tell us a little bit about aquaponics. Aquaponics is a combination of hydroponics and aquaculture and we combine the two together in order to grow um, various different plants and keep a sustainable um, circuit of different uh, things happening within our greenhouse. And as I understand it, it essentially combines the best of both worlds and removes some of the challenges that might be associated with hydroponics on its own or aquaculture on its own. It sure does. And so let's take a tour inside and we can talk a little bit about that. Maybe start us off with the fish. Sounds good. Um, Pastor Daniel of New Vision um, Food Bank has given us 15 tilapia and those 15 tilapia uh, are fed natural protein um, and using their waste is then circulated throughout our piping system which then is circulated into our various uh, float tanks and rock bed tanks um, growing our different varieties of plants so we can give not only you know a good name for Pastor Daniels but also to um, donate back our food and any sources that we get out of our aquaponic system. The fish waste, it's interesting, so you are using that just like a natural fertilizer. Does that eliminate the need for other fertilizer within the system? It does. We do not use any kind of fertilizer. The only fertilizer technically that we use is the fish's nutrients out of their waste. Tell me a little bit about the types of plants that you're growing. We are currently growing lettuce, kale, cantaloupe, tomatoes, and different variances of beans. Um, snap peas, green beans, anything that'll grow. What are your long-term goals? Our long-term goals are to expand in a poverty-strucken area within the U.S. Um, any poverty-strucken area, you know, is an opportunity for Coker and Actis. But also our big goal um, is to go international, um, a very poverty, you know, country that needs it very much what we have, I think, can definitely use what we have to offer. I imagine that our viewers are really intrigued by what's going on. If they'd like more information, where can they find out about aquaponics and your projects? They can find out about Coker and Actus and follow our aquaponics team on Coker and Actus on Facebook and also find us on Instagram at Coker and Actus. Thanks so much for sharing about Enactus and about especially your aquaponics project going on here at Coker College. Big things going on right in the heart of a small community towards sustainability. Perhaps you might be able to implement it right in your own backyard. Mm -hmm.